What is going on guys? Brave here today. I'd like to talk about what Zur has to offer this week. Zur is located this week in the EDZ. Up on the hill of the exotics we have this week, of course, is the Telesto, the Aeon Swifts. We also have the Aeon Safes and the Phoenix Protocol. These are all really good exotics to get your hands on. So if you do not have any of these, I would highly recommend it. Now, when it comes to the legendary weapons, we have a True Prophecy with opening shot and elemental capacitor. We also have the 7th Seraph Carbine with hip fire grip and range finder. The Last Dance with Moving Target and Tap the Trigger. Uh, the Wishbringer with Threat Detector and Moving Target. The Truth Teller with Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip. The Honor's Edge with Tireless Blade and Shattering Blade, along with Balance Guard. And last but not least, Tomorrow's Answer with Tracking Module and Thresh. When it comes to the uh, armor this week, over here on the Hunter, there's not a lot of great armor. The, the legs have a lot of strength, so I would really recommend those. The helmet is not that bad. It roll a 63 with recovery, discipline, and intellect. Uh, not too bad a roll there if you're looking for a decent chest piece. And then, of course, uh, the Knight Curus, of course, the chest. It's a decent roll, but 58, not really that great either. And then, of course, last but not least, we do have the gauntlets, which have a lot of mobility. Make sure you check all of these out on each individual character because, you know, you can have different roles for your Titan and your Warlock as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about this week's exotic gear and legendary weapons that Zer has to offer. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.